we're going to talk about some beginner's probability today. And, you know, probability turns out to be something that is actually pretty useful down the road for you. Um, a lot of what we'll talk about are different kind of game situations and things like that, but we'll get into the more serious stuff as well. Right here, I've got five cards uh, labeled with their numbers on them, 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. The first thing we want to figure out with whatever we're doing is how many outcomes could we possibly have? Uh, and an outcome is just how many different choices do we have? Uh, so anytime we give a probability for this, if we're just drawing one of the cards for whatever reason, if we're just drawing one of the cards, uh, we have five outcomes. Now when we start drawing two cards, three cards, those kind of things we're going to have different. We're going to keep it simple to start with. Okay. So in this case, when we display a probability, it's always going to be, or this problem anyway, is going to be out of five because we've got five outcomes, okay? Um, it'd be different depending on the situation that you've got. Uh, if you're talking about like a coin flip and you're flipping a coin only one time, you've got two outcomes, heads or tails. Uh, if you are rolling a dice, you have six outcomes, one, two, three, four, five, six. Here with the cards that I have, you've got five outcomes. So we're gonna do a couple of different probability problems. <laughs> Um, and then talk about some of those vocab words that we came up with uh, in the reading before this. Now, the first thing I want to show you, if you ever see something like this, P with the parentheses and something inside the parentheses, this means probability of whatever's in these parentheses. Okay, So this is just going to mean probability. So if my question is, give me a probability of drawing a 6. Okay, Probability of drawing a 6, and it's out of five outcomes, and there's only one six. So my probability of drawing a six is one out of five. You've got a one out of five chance of drawing that six. Now if I ask a different question, uh, let's say the probability of getting a multiple of four. Probability of getting a multiple of four. So we know that the bottom number is still going to be 5 because we have 5 possible outcomes that we could get. Now we just need to find out how, what's our chances of getting a multiple of 4. Okay, 2 is a factor of 4, not a multiple. So multiples of 4 would be counting by 4s, 4, 8, 12, like that. So we've got a multiple of 4 here, and we've got a multiple of 4 here. None of the other three are, so a multiple of 4 we're going to have a 2 out of 5 chance to get that multiple of 4. If I do probability of, uh, I don't know, let's go probability of, let's go X, or I'll use C because we're doing cards, probability of the card being bigger than 4. Okay, Probability of the card, and I'll just use C to stand for card, probability of the card being greater than 4. So now we just have to find all our numbers that are greater than 4. Okay. 6 is greater than 4, 8 is greater than 4, 10, that's it. So we have a 3 out of 5 shot. And we'll do one more here. Uh, probability, and this will be a little bit different, of getting a card greater than or equal to 4. Remember that little line underneath is or equal to. Now, if it's or equal to, we can include the 4 along with the other ones, so our probability is going to be 4 out of 5. We're going to use the same set of numbers. So we've got our same number cards up here. Now we're going to do probability of even and probability of odd. Probability of even, every single number is even. So we've got 5 out of 5, which is a one whole chance. Anytime you see this as a probability, that means that it is certain that it's going to happen. It's definitely going to happen when it's 5 out of 5, or if it was a coin, 2 out of 2, if it was that. Uh, but in this case, we're always going to get the answer here. We're always going to get an even no matter what we draw. So no matter which card we pick, it's going to be even, so we have a 5 and 5 chance of getting an even. Now, as opposed to probability of getting an odd. Probability of getting an odd is going to be 
zero out of five. There's no chance we could get an odd out of our five outcomes. Outcomes are five, can't get an odd. Okay, that equals zero. Anytime you see a probability of zero, that means that it is never going to happen. So probabilities always range between zero and one. One being certain, zero being never. We can never have anything that is less than this. We can't have any probability that's less than zero. Okay, And we can never have a probability that is more than one whole or more than certain. So our probabilities are always going to fall between here. So for that one example where we had two-fifths, two out of five, two-fifths falls between zero and one. It's always going to be between the two if it's not zero and if it's not one. The other two words we put on there were theoretical and experimental. Okay, kind of big words, but we can break them down. I'm going to change the example to use coins. Okay, uh, If you think about flipping a coin, uh, let's say 10 times, we would have, each time we flip it, let's say we're looking to see how many tails we get. Every time we flip it, we're going to have the same one tail out of two possible outcomes for one out of two. So if we did 10 of these flips, that's going to equal 5 out of 10. So if we think about the probability, we would expect to get 5 out of 10. And that's what theoretical means. It's, it's kind of got that keyword, if I put a Y in there, theory. It's, it's what your theory is on what it should be. Uh, so underneath this, a good thing to write would be... Um, what you would expect. So we'd expect if we flipped it 10 times to get five tails. Okay, Just how the odds are working. Now, experimental. It's got the word experiment in it. So that means if you actually ran the experiment, you could get a lot of different things. You're not every time going to get five out of 10. You could get a four out of 10. You could get a three out of 10. Uh, you could get a 9 out of 10. Not a very good chance, but I mean, it's even possible that you could get a 10 out of 10 if you ran the experiment. Okay, So experimental probability is what you actually get. And a lot of times they're going to be close. What you think it's going to be and what you actually get should be close because that's how the odds work. That's how probability works. But not always. So keep in mind the differences between the two.